Good morning, afternoon, or evening, people of the world. So today I'm going to make a step-by-step -step process, um, basically just composing a piece of music that I haven't prepared anything for at all ahead of time um, from the ground up. So first what we're going to do is we're going to do a melodic sketch and sort of figure out the uh, our melodic material, and then we're going to sort of do a... Uh, um, or we take those melodies and, and develop them and plan out what we're going to do with them, and then after that we're going to go to the orchestration and get all of that worked out, and then we're going to sample it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy. I hope you get something out of it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out with um, uh, uh, our thematic material. So there are lots of different ways to write melodies. Sometimes you can just... Sometimes the tune just pops in your head um, out of nowhere. Other times... You know, um, you can start with a harmonic progression and use that for inspiration. I, a lot of times, like to start with a rhythm because I find that the rhythm is probably one of the most powerful. Um, uh, if you make a really unique rhythm for a melody, it uh, it can do surprising. Uh, it can do surprising things, if that makes any sense. That was a really terrible way of explaining that. But, like, for example, like the Star Wars melodies or the Lord of the Rings melodies, you know, half of what makes them so memorable is the, is the rhythm. You could just tap it out on a, um, you know, if you go... You know, you know it's Mario. So, um, all right. So uh, I'm gonna get a rhythm worked out. So I'm literally just going to use like <laughs> quarter notes. So dumb. So we might, I think I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make the first one a little bit more stately, like in medieval and heroic. You know, and then the sec the second one can be a, a more legato sort of theme. So dumb. Ba 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 Hmm. Dun 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. And then we sort of have an answer. So this is this is basically like a sort of question. Rum, ba 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 bum bum bum. Rum, ba 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 bum. And then we have the answer. Rum, da 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 dun dun dun. Rum, ba 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 bum. And then we have the final thing. Dum, da 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 bum bum bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, ba ba ba. Bum, 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 ba ba. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, ba ba bum. So, ram da 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 dun dun dun, ram ba 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 bum, ram ba 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 bum bum bum, ram ba 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 bum, ram da 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 dun 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 dun, ram ba 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 bum bum bum, ba 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 bum 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 bum, ba ba bum. All right, so now we can take that sort of rhythmic uh, structure and turn it into a melody. So do 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 do, do 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. So, I'm sorry. This is literally just gonna be. I, I'm when I write melodies, I literally just put things down and sort of listen to them and just go back and forth until I can find one that satisfies my ears. So, my apologies if I stop talking for a second. So, boom, bum, 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 bum. And see, that's the thing is, if I start thinking up a melody that just from what I've done, if I hear something in my head, then I'm just going to literally disregard all the rest and go along with it. So I'm hearing something out. We go ahead and put our key signature and C minor because that seems to be what I'm going for right now. So boom, 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 boom. Bum, 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 bum. I think I kind of want to repeat this thing. So I'm kind of copying this little dotted, um, Dotted eighth note, same thing here. So boom, 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 let me make it a little bit faster. Let's go to here. Styles. Uh, uh, tempo, tempo. Where is tempo? Tempo, tempo. Who's got the tempo? There we go, right there. All right. Oh my gosh, what the? Sorry. I, I had to make this small. There we go. I had to make it. Oh, wait. Am I in the? Yeah, I am. I'm an idiot. Kill me, please. Bada bing, bada bing. Had to make the um, 
the window is smaller, so it will fit in the screen capture video. So, good vivace is what we will go with. It's a wonderful tempo, it's fantastic, brilliant. Alright, so. I like that actually quite a bit. It's brilliant. So this will be our heroic theme. Heroic theme. At its way, vivace. Ah, that rhymed. All right. So uh, no, well, actually, I meant to do bold, but italics looks nice anyway. It fits. So right here, we will go to here and just add a final bar line because I just feel like doing it. Maybe we can repeat it. All right, but we'll go into the legato section. I just heard that off the top of my head. So, so see if you can hear this. Oh, I'm hearing something. I think I want to go up to D the second time. So Let's listen to that and see what the flow of that is. So, and this is going to be like a high legato strings, you know. <laughs> Things like that. So, just imagine that in your head. Four. We need another um, bar there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I almost want to kind of sharp this, kind of give it a little bit, you know, that sort of, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I'm talking about, that sort of sassiness. And we'll use a leading tone. Awesome shots. So, um, that's really all the material we need for a two minute piece. I don't want to add too much material because we're not going to be able to develop it well enough. So now that we have our two main themes, um, so we'll, this isn't really a love theme, but we'll call it a love theme just because it's sort of the in between theme. So we can save this. We're going to call it our heroic piece walk through melodic, melodic material. All right, so. So now what we're going to want to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and save this file as a new file. So um, heroic piece walk through um, sketch. So now we're going to take these basic melodic materials and we're going to structure them into an actual piece. So I'm going to add a few bars at the beginning um, or whatever. We'll just add. Hold on. Add multiple bars. We'll go with. We'll add eight. So seven plus the one we just did. And we'll stick this over here. All right. So. So I want to come up with sort of an original rhythm to sort of start off the piece because normally you know. 
people just have the typical mm -hmm. bum 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 bum, you know, just to, or you know, like the planets Mars type of thing, or you know, a famous one, very memorable one is from Superman. You know, that type of a thing. So. Oops. See here. This is going to be like maybe horns or, or brass at the, at the intro. Actually, we can go down to... We can go down to F minor. Oh, I like this, yeah. Oops. Oh, kill me. Didn't do the triplet. Boom, boom. Yeah, this is definitely gonna. Actually, yeah, we could do this. Sorry, I'm. Apologize if this isn't making any sense. I'll explain it when I'm done. There we go. Alright, so this is going to be our introduction. Now we're going to have to do a little bit of key changing here because... This is ending in C major, which is the dominant of F minor. So we're not going to feel like going into C minor. Um, our, our ears aren't going to feel like going there. So we're going to need to do a bit of modulation here. So, But let's just listen to this. Alright, okay, I like this. So... Melody comes in. I like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's a little bit of an odd bar structure, but I, I, I like it. I mean, it still has an even number of bars, six, but usually when I have an increment of like two, four, eight, sixteen, etc. So I like how it sort of. It doesn't feel like it's bloated. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like it's going to go on another two bars. That's when the melody comes in. So a little bit of ambiguity there. Excellent. So yeah. Um. So yeah. So we're going to need to. This C major is going to need to be. A G major because G is the dominant of C. So let's think about this. So in order to make a C into a G, we got to move everything up a fifth. But we're in the key of C minor according to our program. So we need to go from C minor up to G minor. I think that's going to work. Uh, up to G minor. Yeah, yeah, and that, that this will make it a nice arrange for like our horns. I think we could still make it faster. Um, <laughs> Maybe not that fast. Oh, whatever. It's fine. We can adjust it later. And then the melody comes in a second time, but this time it's lower. So how many do we have here? I'm pretty sure we have eight bars. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to do add multiple bars. 
we'll do set, uh, sorry, eight. There we go. Brilliant. Awesome. So we'll copy the same thing, but this time it's going to be on a lower octave. So we'll go ahead and add a treble clef over here, and we will add a bass clef over here. Yeah, and we'll move all this down. So boom, 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 boom. Maybe with like the trumpets. I'm not the trumpets. Kill me. Uh, the tubas and the low bass trumpets. And then I think we need a little bit more space there. Two, three, four. Kill that. Two, three, four. It calms down. Three, four. So now we got to figure out what to do here. And this is usually people's biggest trouble is they'll, you know, come up with some ideas like this and they're like, oh, what do we do next? So um, <clears throat> we could either develop our love theme material or develop our action material. So I vote developing our action material. So, um, um, so we could actually go to this because um, we haven't. We don't want to necessarily just have this intro that isn't related to anything and then just never use it again, so I think we can do... Hmm, let's think about this. That almost sounds like a link to the past. Actually, let's develop that. Actually, we could develop this into a circle of fifths, a progression, because we have C minor going to F minor, right? So we can continue the pattern with B flat major. And then, sorry, we can have an, I'll show you what I mean. Oh, I like this. This is great. Oops. Oh my gosh. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Yeah. And then we're going to repeat our material in a, in a new key, F minor, all right? Because we've ended in C major here. So what happened here is we have this introduction, right? Then we have our heroic melody over here, right? And then we repeat the heroic melody, but this time at a lower interval, an octave lower with the bass trombones and stuff. And then we go into this, you know, we go into the secondary theme, all right? Then the secondary theme ends. And then what we do is we take this um, melodic material that was sort of the germ um, of our first theme, and we turn it into something slower. And it's still going to be with the strings here, so um, I'll show you what it sounds like. Do 
see, see like right there, and then it goes back into the main theme. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be wonderful. And look, let's see, look at this. We're, we're already a minute and thirty-three into the piece. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so we want to move this up to C minor. No, sorry, kill me. Uh, we want to move it up to F minor. We were in C minor and is in C minor. I'm oh, I'm so stupid. Up uh, F minor. Yeah, F minor. And this is actually a great range of the trumpets. Like that. That A flat. This is just this is this is gonna be really great for the trumpets to have this nice push, just range wise, because the highest note is A flat and it just stays up. That's just a golden range for trumpets. So, um, thinking ahead. Yeah, and then I think we're going to go back to this love theme in the new key of F minor um, one more time, and then we're going to take our main melodic material and uh, actually we could turn. Um, ah, yeah, we could turn this into the ending. Oh, I like this. Okay, I'll show you what I'm going to do. But I think we're going to do after this point right here, we are going to go back to the back to the love theme in the new key of F minor that we're in, and then we're going to go to. Um, uh, uh, this introduction material and make it feel like the ending but give a few seconds at the very last moment of turning this into the ending like for example if you know what I mean turning this into sort of an ending of, of some kind so, um, so, yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this uh, melody right here, yeah, and copy and paste it over, and we can, we're going to change the instrumentation every time the melody is replayed or something like that. So this is going to be really delicious because it's going to be nice and high. We're going to be going up, uh, no, 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 up by key to F minor. It'd be nice for the flutes, too. Now we can go into the... No, let's see. Yeah, we won't need to go to G major. Okay, with being a little cliche in some parts, as long as you have some good melodic material to back you up. For example, like bum 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 bum, like that's a very video gaming cliche ending, but it's okay. It's beautiful. Bum 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 and put it in our new key. So, so this starts off in G minor, but we want it to be in C minor. So, G minor is a fourth up to C minor, but we're in C minor, so we want to make it go up to F minor. No, no, no. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Now we have the ending here. Uh, but we, we already transposed it over here. It's, it's in our... Let's try this out for size. Yeah. 
three, four, one. Bum, 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 bum. Awesome. Oops. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. All right, we need to change it. Something like that. Okay, so. Yeah. All right. So let me let me see if this feels satisfying. One more. Yeah, this ending needs we need to fix this up. Yeah, but it just needs to be simpler. Well, I think we we overdid it with the complication there. All right, so let's listen to it from the very beginning and see if it feels good enough. Right now we have a two minute and 50 second piece of music. So. strings Yeah, 
Brilliant, fantastic, awesome. Okay, so I think that's good. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, we can always adjust things later when we get to the orchestration. But yeah, so now we have a nice little um, melodic sketch. Um, I'm all, I'm going to take the sheet music of this and uh, I'm going to label the individual themes and I'm also going to write down harmonic progressions for sort of what I have going on in my head and then I'm going to post that uh, for, on a Dropbox PDF if any of you want to look at it. Um, so yeah, next step is going to be the orchestration. Hope you got something out of this and I'm... I think we're both excited to see um, uh, how this turns out in the final piece. So, yeah.